G'day, I'm Jeff, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about mouth painting. And uh, I had an accident in 2001, and I'm a fairly high level quad, C4-5, and uh, I'm, my arms work a little bit, but not well enough to, to hold a paintbrush very well. Before my accident, I used to always buy the cards from the mouth and foot painting artist, because I always thought I was a really positive organisation giving people something positive to do after a, a, an accident. Then after my accident I thought well maybe I should get into that and I was discouraged for a little while uh, but uh, after I got away from the discouragement I, I met a, uh, another fellow mouth painting artist when I was living in New Zealand and uh, he gave me a start-up kit and encouraged me to give it a go and I was lucky enough to be granted a student uh, membership so they send me a little bit of money each month, which helps pay for my tuition and materials. Basically, you, you, you take lessons, read as much as you can, practice as much as you can, and, and learn suitable techniques. It's, uh, it's a bit different to, to painting with your hands. And of course, if you're a foot painting artist, it would be, I can't imagine how difficult that would be. I've changed the way that I paint over the years, I started off with a, uh, a ta little stable table on my lap and I used to lean my chair forward a bit so that my chest strap was holding me back and uh, I would just lean over the painting with a brush in my mouth and I would paint like that. I prefer to have a, a medium length brush. If it's too long, I find it really hard to control the end of it unless it's a big broad area and you can use a longer brush. I painted with a really short brush at one stage and that was great for getting fine detail but you tend to go a bit cross-eyed, get a bit of a headache after a while so I've sort of gone halfway, I've got a medium length brush and some people have mouth pieces that they put in their mouth and the brush slots into it. I tried that, didn't really work for me. I tried biting on the wood which was not very nice and I've now decided that I've got these little rubber tubes that I just cut a length of rubber tube and slide it over the end of the brush and that means when I bite on it it doesn't hurt my teeth. I started off painting with acrylic paint and uh, I found that uh, it dried very quickly as does watercolour and uh, I couldn't uh, cover up mistakes quite as easily so I ended up by uh, one of my teachers when I was in New Zealand was keen for me to use oil paint which is a lot fiddlier in many ways, but it's also slower drying and a lot more forgiving. If you make a mistake, you can, you can cover it up a lot more easily. I was sort of lost in limbo for a few years, not, not knowing, uh, you know, there's quite a lot of change in your life and uh, getting into art was, was a, a positive step for me. It's not for everybody, but uh, for me, I, I was able to sort of learn something that I didn't really know a lot about and uh, and it's an ongoing process. You, you keep learning about art. You never know everything. And uh, I've still got a huge amount to learn. But uh, I find it gives me something positive to work towards and um, a creative outlet. And it's um, something that's worth giving a go, even if you don't uh, want to pursue it full time. It's something that uh, can be done as a hobby.